Today I'm going to be talking about the MXR Mini Dynacomp Compressor. As the name would suggest, Dynacomp, it is a dynamic compressor. It's an acute, tiny little enclosure so you can fit more of these glorious little pedals on your pedal board. For this demo, I'm going to be using it on my clean channel and on my lead channel. The guitar amp used for this is the Mesa Boogie Triple Crown TC50 rack mount amplifier head into a Mesa Boogie 4x12 cabinet. This is mic'd up with an SE Electronics VR1 ribbon mic and their V7 dynamic microphone. This is going directly into the front of my Zoom UAC8 interface and into Steinberg Cubase. All cables used in this video are made by Klotz cables. My guitar of choice for this video is the Mayanez Devel Elite model with Seymour Duncan P90 rails in both the neck and the bridge. For the clean sounds I used the P90 mode, for the rhythms and the lead I used humbucking mode. The clean sounds are all on the neck pickup, the rhythms are all on the bridge and the lead goes between the neck and the bridge. On the Jim Dunlop website, getting a little bit of background history on our Dynacomp here and it says the long story. The Dynacomp Mini Compressor combines the best of classic tone and modern convenience in a housing that's nearly half the size of the original. Thanks to its rare CA3080 metal can integrated circuit, this pedal yields quieter operation, greater transparency and increased dynamic range. An all new attack switch toggles between slow and fast attack times. Pretty self explanatory for the whole pedal there. How do we use? the mini compressor. Okay, so the controls, the attack switch, which is at the top here, which has its own dedicated LED which turns red when it's pushed in. The attack switch toggles between slow and fast attack times. Output knob sets the overall effect volume. Sensitivity knob sets amount of compression. Foot switch toggles effect on slash bypass. Blue LED indicates on. So the sensitivity knob we will rotate clockwise for more compression and anti-clockwise for less compression. As you can see these are the settings that I used in the video and the compression is roughly about half. Output a little bit higher to match the, uh, the volume of my guitar amplifier with the reduced volume because of the compression. I would use the Dynacomp uh, mostly on a clean channel um, because I like that really squished glassy kind of clean tone that I'm kind of associated with or as it's called Milton Cleans and that requires a lot of compression and this gets it pretty close to be honest. Without further ado I'm going to shut up, listen to the demo, see what you think and I hope you enjoy the tones that I got with this thing.
Hey guys, it's from Nick on Red. Bump feels nice. Buy it. <laughs>